Hello everybody, it's me Sonic, and today I'm going to, I guess, upload my first official YouTube video. <laughs> um, so I have had some people come to me and ask about uh, so help with their Vroid, Vroid models, and so I figured I'd make a video or two or a few to go over some topics. And today we are going to be going over clothes and accessories. First things first, open Vroid. You see I have a bunch of different clothes and models already made. Um, sample avatars. There are some models over up here with varying hairstyles and additional clothes and accessories that you're not going to find if you just create a standard new avatar. Um, I would mostly pick these for the hairstyles since you're going to be likely changing the clothes anyway. <laughs> but if you choose a new avatar, you have your choice of male or female, of course. Um, let's get hair out of the way right now. I said about hair. Well, you can customize and create some pretty, some pretty juicy looking hair, some pretty nice looking hair, um, by drawing it all in there and whatnot. But I am not any good at this right now, <laughs> and I'm not sure I'm going to be putting in a lot of effort right now to making a good hairstyle. <laughs> But I can link you to a good source where you can find a bunch of hairstyles or I will also be linking some other videos that will go over how to do hair better than I can. So we'll be going over clothes and accessories. <laughs> so of course you have the various presets over here and over here on the left and right. There's your base model. There's your uniforms, your one-piece dress, long jacket like Neo from the Matrix, and so on. And then of course you can mix and match anything. You can put this on with a skirt. <laughs> Not that you should want to, but you can. But for us, we will put on the one-piece dress. And we'll go into this texture tab here. Now here we have the dress laid out and we have the character model with the dress on. If we come and we click onto a uh, default image, this is where the image is stored for the dress. The layer here is a blank transparent layer over top of it with nothing on it. Now if we take our mouse here and we draw, we'll be making changes to the dress. So the most basic thing you can do is you can come to the default image, you can grab the eraser tool, and then you can start erasing things to make them more as you see fit. So if we take off, here let's go like this, you can turn on the mirror tool so it works on both sides at once. And take off that bow. Mess some spots here and there. You can also take the tool and erase things over on the model so you can fine tune things. And there we go, sleeve this dress. And then, of course, you can take down some of the length. That's a little bit short. <laughs> you can take down some of the length. You don't have to erase all the gray parts, but I think it looks nicer. <laughs> so here, basic, missed a spot. So here we have a basic short no sleeve dress. We can also take off some of the if we zoom in. We can also take off some of this collar here. Make our brush a little smaller. 
make it a little nicer in here. Bring it down a little bit. I think that's not terrible. Come back and over on the sides here like this. And then you can take this one down a bit. Around the back. And then, of course, we can just take our brush tool over onto the layer. I like using the layer for a start. And then you can delete and add a new layer with this plus button. You can remove layer. And then you can add a new layer. Just like that. So, you can use your brush tool to go over top of the old layer. And it'll cover everything. If you go draw over top of the transparent, it'll cover that. If you're feeling brave, <laughs> you can just draw right on the default image, and it'll have the same effect. But... Here, you can add your colors, you can add your designs if you are competent with drawing, which I am not, <laughs> especially since I'm using a mouse. But, just for example, Say we just want to make a purple dress. So, draw the outlines. Make a big brush and fill everything in. Oh, that's an eraser. Now it's a simple purple dress. Yay! Now I'm not going to be going into too crazy into things, but there's so many th things and options you can do. Like if you want to make a one, if you're going to make a one strapped dress, <laughs> make sure you turn off the mirror and then draw your design in. I'm working on the right side. There you go. Nothing crazy. Then of course you can come back into the design and you will have options to change your textures. You can the size of your skirt, the width of the sleeves and the cuffs if you're keeping all of that. The hem of the skirts, I erased that, so that doesn't, it's not important here. <laughs> One thing we can do. Um, this is, this is the basics of things here. Drawing and editing your own things within Vroid to create your own custom clothes. And you can do this for any piece of clothing. So if we were to put some pants on or a skirt, like if we put a pendle skirt on, I mean, not that we should. <laughs> but if we put some, put some pants on, you can come into the texture, minimize that, open up the pants size, click on the pants default image, and then you can come over and change the pants however you like. Same goes for the shoes, same goes for any of the accessories like the little bows that are included. But we'll be turning our pants off for now. And then again, we can go to texture, we'll open up the shoes, and then we can draw this any way we like. Just as simple as that. So, if you're looking to make some more advanced clothing, if you want some uh, more fun designs, 
then what you should be doing, if you come over to this layer, that's where our clothes are, and we right click it, you'll get these options, you'll need to hit export, we'll save it to our desktop, and we'll call it purple dress. Yeah, let's save it as a PNG, and that's that's how a lot of things work. PNGs are nice, and especially since they keep the transparencies. So now, if we come over here, we will find our address is sitting here on the desktop. And something that you might want to do is add some more intricate designs, or say you want to put some flowers on the dress, right? Some neat little flowers. What we can do is if we come over to our web browser, go to Google, and if we search for some pretty flower textures, like, um, let's go for, what color should we do? Let's do some pink flowers. Come over to the images, and we find something we like. Let me take this one here. This one will work nicely. Take this. Save your images. Put this right on the desktop too. And here this is as well. Now we can import both of these into a image editor like um, Photoshop. Um, I use GIMP because it's free. <laughs> and I am back. Now, what I've done is I took the flowers that we stole from the internet and I have edited the image to fit the dress more. I took out the background, took out the unnecessary white flowers and leaves and everything. Um, I rotated it, I flipped it, I mirrored it. So now we're going to put this along the bottom of our dress. I'm not going to go over how to do all of those things in GIMP. Um, there's plenty of tutorials on the internet for all of that, but I figured it'd help save a lot of time since I just spent like 30 minutes trying to do other things. <laughs> like 20 30 minutes doing other things okay so now we have i'm going to go ahead and just delete this layer now we take our purple dress we drag it in and here it is that's what everything's going to look like now if we take our purple flower and we drag it in we can move it so it's more along the bottom of the dress Let's say, let's say we put it about here. Now if we go and we file, overwrite, oh, let's not overwrite anything, let's export it as purple flower dress. Yes, I am spelling that the wrong flower. <laughs> Um, keep it as a PNG, export it, it's going to save, make sure, make sure, most important part, make sure that we save color values from transparent pixels. This will keep the background transparent instead of turning it to white or black, so that way it doesn't interfere with the rest of the dress. So we click that one, hit export, and here it is. Now if we close GIMP, don't need to save anything. Open V right back up. We'll come, we'll make a new layer here. We can turn this one off. And we can turn this one off. Now if you come into a layer, right click it, we find the import button. We import it, we come to our desktop, and we find our image, purple flower dress. And when we bring it in, here it is. Now, there's a little purple missing from under the dress, or under the flowers. We can fix that by coming into this layer. We toggle visibility here, and we draw on this layer. We'll be drawing behind the purple flowers, so that's a quick little fix right there. Oh, 
boop, 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 boop. And there we go. We're on our way to customizing fancy pantsy new clothes. Well, I'm flying. <laughs> so now, with what these, these turned on, um, yeah, that is our introduction to slightly advanced clothes making for Vroid. Now, with what we just learned about importing and exporting, um, I shall now teach you about a certain fun place. If we come over to our browser and we come to booth.pm, I will make sure to put the link in the description. This website here has a whole lot of materials and other things for your Vroid models, some of which are free, most of which are not, I will warn you, uh, but things don't get too expensive, and everything is also priced in yen. So you'll see lots of things are also titled in Japanese, <laughs> and I cannot read um, Japanese, any of it. But you'll get a pretty good idea, especially if you actually look for certain things. So if we come to the search bar, we can do Vroid, uh, you know, dress. It may also put do you well to um, open Google Translate and translate the things you want, like dress or shoes, and see what you will get. Um, there's lots of... Lots of paid content for sure. This person here, our Gamma Witch, she is fantastic. I highly recommend looking at her, her YouTube channel. She has a Twitter. See if you can catch her on stream maybe. But she is a great resource for learning how to do a lot of things. And she will probably be the one that I will be listing for doing the hair models as well. She can also teach you how to do animal ears in Vroid using hair. She can teach you how to make, um, that works for horns as well. And a lot of her assets on the booth.pm that she uploads are free. So, um, it's not Christmas time anymore. What other clothes do we have? Gamer chairs. them. She has tons of free stuff here. Oh, you can change your eye textures and everything too. And she has all of that stuff uploaded. She sells... Okay, so there's, there's an entire 3D model here for 1,500 yen, which translate to about... Uh, it's like $14.80 or something. And of course there's all different things. Let me see if I can find just a quick dress real quick. Oh, speaking of hair, I should go back a page and I'll do, I'll throw a quick hair tutorial in too. Why not? So I'll come over here, free download, simple long hair, it's going to be a WinRAR archive, or whatever you use to um, extract your zip files. Da, da, da. Some fancy dresses. We'll choose purple, of course, because why would we not? <laughs> and there we go. So, back in here, if we take our layers and we'll talk of their visibility off, we'll add a new layer. We will import, and then we'll find our new file, purple underscore dress. Yeah, sure. It'll take a second to load in because it's confused. Maybe not. Actually, this one probably got replaced. No? Uh oh. I shouldn't even file different. 
Oh, I see what happened. Maybe. I see. Oh, damn it. I exported it instead of importing it. <laughs> I'm a fool. Wrong one. Other wrong one. God damn it. <laughs> Try this again. Purple dress. Back to Feroid. Go import. Look for a purple dress. And here we go. Nice and pretty. But that's using the import export tool we, we uh, learned about and using the free assets available on booth.pm. Now, um, I said I'd do a quick over once over for the hair. So if we save this avatar here, hit save. Give Vroid right a minute to work so it saves the model and everything properly and safely. Limit. Um, save it. I saw the name change, but it still has a star like it's not saved. There we go. Okay, now here, I have our symbol in here. We'll extract here. Preset 33. Now, one moment as I pull up my files. Here we go now that I remember how to get there. <laughs> so what we want to do is we hit the start button on our windows. Um, I don't know how to access this from Mac, actually. And I'm sorry if you're using that. Um, but what we do is if we type in run and pull up the run tool, we want to open up our app data folder. We hit that. And bring this over here. We want to go to app data. We'll open up our local low folders and then we will find where did it go? Mihoyo? No, that's the wrong, that's a game. Pixiv VWrite Studio Hair Presets. Now here you will drag the folder from your desktop into this folder. And then we're done. You have to make sure you close Vroid and then reopen it after you do this to make sure the preset is loaded in. So now we'll open up Vroid Studio again. We will open up our video model. And if we come over to the hair editor, and this is our preset options. Preset 33, we'll bring that in. It'll load in in a second. Actually, we have to import. Here we go. And there we go. Our hair has been imported. And then, of course, you can still draw on top of this and edit it in any way that you want. Pull out the brush. You can still cover any spots that you feel necessary. Cover the ears. I don't like ears. I don't like ears. And yeah, so if we use our Booth PM website, you can find hairs, you can find dresses, you can find shoes, you can find um, different body textures, you can find different, um, a whole ton of things. And there's a lot of good free options if you t if you take time to look around, because there are so 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 many pages of things. It was part of the bottom here. I mean, I've, I've, if, if I type in Vroid, if I just type in Vroid in the, in the search bar, I've got 150 pages deep <laughs> looking just for things, nothing specific, but just looking for things. <laughs> but now we have this here. You are wondering about accessories. So, one thing we have to do for accessories. As far as Vroid itself, Vroid is still always under 
um, creation and management and, and whatnot. As far as accessories go, they have very limited options. There's no pre-builds except for a ribbon, a tie, and another ribbon. Nothing for hands, nothing for legs, none of that. So if you can, um, you can use these to make things if you want a tie or, or a ribbon. You can change their colors, you can change their textures and whatnot to make them look nicer. But if you're looking for real, actual, customized kind of things, you're going to be going back to booth and finding things. Or if you can draw, you'll be drawing your own things and importing them. So one thing we can do is if we go to our body editor and go to the textures, here you'll see all of the skin. So one thing that we can do here is if we find our arm, that's our leg. So we find our arm here. We can draw on, you know, tattoos, or if we want to make some kind of, uh, you know, an arm bracelet. If you can draw that on yourself, then that's a thing you can do. Or if you want to draw a watch or something. Bring this over here. And then you can go with that and do whatever it is you want to do with that. Um, as far as me, one thing you do, something probably a lot of girls might want to add, is if we import Vroid modeling, we open up this, we come into, let me see, hmm, where did I put my dress at? Finished, hair, hair, nails, jeans, clothes, skin, PNGs, sunny outfits. Okay, we'll just go with these ones. If we take our stockings and we load them onto the body model, then we will get stockings. You don't want to put them on his pants, okay? <laughs> <laughs> like, to, to, from experience, you don't want to put them on his pants. You want to put them. You want to attach them to the skin layer, the body layer. That way, they go on nice, and everything looks proper. And the same goes for if I had a choker on, like my other model does. That would also be attached to the uh, skin layer, drawn on up here. So if we add another layer and we import, I don't remember where I put the choker at. Uh, it's probably under new clothes, new clothes, new clothes, new clothes, where did I put the button? New clothes, choker. It's added in there. You can see it's drawn on now. It's just covered hiding under the dress. Now some things you can do if um, you choose the right dress preset. Nope, like this one here. Clothing. One piece. This is a one piece dress. The one piece dresses, they cover some of the neck. So, if you draw properly on it, like if we come into the texture here, you'll see that the choker would be going up in here. Up to the top. I'm on the wrong layer. There we go. That's where your choke would be if you want to draw one manually on the closed layer, rather than right on the neck. But if you find a choker on booth, it will most likely already be a body texture PNG. So if you try to upload it onto this file, it's going to appear somewhere in this area. And then it's not going to be on the model at all. Um, as far as shoes go, it's the same thing if you want to... Let me see. I have shoes somewhere. Go to textures. 
you know, you need to make sure you find the right shoe. So, shoes are finicky, you need to make sure you find the right shoe for the right image. Um, let me see. Not pumps, I, I don't think it's pumps. Maybe it is. Actually, that looks more right. Come to our texture. Import. You see, up here we go, original dress. Here's our shoes. Import the shoe textures and yeah, we might have screwed that up a little bit. If we... Oh, you know what? I think it is the pumps. But see, that's an example of what things will look like if they're not done right. See, now there's this white part. We don't want that. There's this white part. We don't want that. So if we come over here, we bring out the pumps. Come back into the texture. Under a layer, import our shoes. Oh, still not right. <laughs> a little bit of trial and error here and there, but it happens. Not that one. Oh, you know what? It is the one piece shoe. I just. Uh, <laughs> Go to texture. Another layer. We import our shoes and then we can toggle the visibility off on the default image. And there we have it. That's what we want. <laughs> now we have pretty shoes on. We have some kind of stockings on. I'm not saying this is an outfit I'd wear, but is it is an outfit. <laughs> I like the dress actually. I might wear this one. Just as long as I get some other things to put with it. But yeah, so this has been a basic tutorial on how to do a bunch of things in Vroid. Today we learned how to make clothes, we learned how to make clothes a little advanced, we learned how to import the clothes we make and obtain otherwise. You don't have to use Booth, there are other websites I'm sure. And you can also ask some friends, like some uh, certain cyber dragon you know, what resources they have and they would be happy to send them to you for no cost <laughs> but this has been an intro we learned hair we learned shoes is there anything else i'm forgetting today sources booth and our gamma witch is a very big source too and i will be sure to link her and anything else i can think of into the description of the video below so thank you for coming in thank you for watching and have a good day i love you bye bye